All right. Gee, where am I? But I'm addicted to YouTube. I just hit 300 subscribers. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I hit 1,500 subs, which is just a crazy it, number. Um, it's been a month since I uploaded to YouTube, and to be honest, I was pretty sure I was done with YouTube. Two, um, two, two, two thousand. Huh? What? Three thousand subscribers. All right, boys. So we hit four thousand subscribers. Ten thousand subscribers. Oh, oh, oh! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it. We hit ten million subscribers. Ten million subscriber play button. Mr. Beast was the fastest growing YouTube channel in 2021, growing from 50 million subscribers all the way up to 88 million. He is the co-founder of Team Seas and Team Trees, and Mr. Beast is just one of the craziest YouTubers you'll ever see. His ideas and thumbnails are just so crazy and out of the box, and that's what makes people click on them. Mr. Beast goes to extremes that nobody else would go to to get the perfect video or shot that he wants. This is why Mr. Beast is going to hit 100 million subscribers and this was his path to success. Jimmy Donaldson was born May 7th in 1998 and he grew up in North Carolina and what's crazy about Jimmy is he's actually never had a real job his entire life. He hopped into YouTube really early on and he has just never looked back since. This is probably the reason Jimmy says the only thing he's actually good at is YouTube and he's, he really sucks at everything else. And that's what he says himself. I was so obsessed. I'm telling you, it is unhealthy how obsessed. Uh, there's not a single person on the planet that's been more obsessed that same time span as me because it's physically impossible. Yeah. Almost every hour of the day, that's what yeah. I was doing. In math class, in English class, in any class, any time of the day, I was thinking about YouTube nonstop the last 10 years. Jimmy would create his first YouTube channel, which was titled Beast5TY. And on this channel, he uploaded MW3 gameplays and commentary, but the quality of it was really bad. And what's crazy is Jimmy actually did sub for sub to grow on that account. He actually spent money on it too. Like he didn't just go to channels hanging sub for sub. He spent actual money to get a couple thousand subscribers. And he was super excited to get his next video uploaded because he was like, wow, I'm gonna get so many views from these subscribers. But what turned out happening is he got five views on the video. Two of them were himself. And that's just because sub for sub doesn't get you views and it doesn't work. So this didn't sit well with Beast and he deleted the channel not soon after. And on February 19th of 2012, Jimmy would create Mr. Beast 6000. This channel was supposed to be a secondary Minecraft channel, but after he deleted Beast 5TY, he would make this his main channel. His first video would be posted on February 20th of 2012, and this would be a Minecraft video, which was worst Minecraft saw trap ever. And if we watch this video, we can just see it's a completely random 13 year old kid making a video, and it's crazy to see how far Mr. Beast has come from here. It's not smart, so now nothing can kill me. Ooh. Jimmy would follow this up with a lot of Minecraft videos, including a Harry Potter mod, which actually gained him around 20,000 views pretty quickly, and that was the video that did a lot of views for his channel for the early months. Jimmy would continue posting videos as he would include a couple Pokemon videos or Project Zombie, but these videos didn't do too great, and in July of 2013 is when Jimmy first brought COD commentaries to his channel, and just the following month in August, he would hit 300 subscribers. What is going on, guys? I just hit 300 subscribers, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm pretty happy about it. On November 11th, Jimmy would upload his first video talking about PewDiePie, and this was also the first episode in a series of How Much Money Do YouTubers Make, which would really help his channel start to take off and get a lot more views. On April 13th of 2014, Jimmy was able to hit 1,000 subscribers, and he also began upgrading his equipment around this time. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Quadruple digits. After this is when Jimmy would really start to post a lot more of the how much money do YouTubers make, and they did really well compared to his other videos at the time. But things wouldn't be perfect for Jimmy, as on the 6th of February in 2015, he would post a video titled Quitting, and in this video, he would explain that he was really contemplating quitting YouTube for good just because of how much of a grind it was, but he was going to give it another chance because his last couple of videos had gotten over 200 views, so he figured he'd keep uploading for a little while longer. And thank God he did, because imagine if Mr. Beast would have quit YouTube then. 
we would have never had it, who he is today. You guys have left a lot of nice comments, and it makes me want to keep producing content, especially because I know people are going to watch it. Um, the, the last couple of videos I uploaded all broke 200 views, which is pretty crazy. Quick note, follow me on Twitter at Oaks Productions with two S's. He continued his COD commentary style and was able to hit 3,000 subscribers in July of 2015. And this is also when he began making better quality thumbnails using Photoshop, which he uploaded a video to ev let everybody know. A gift from above? Wait. P.S. Oh, wait, what? 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 What is this? Wait, can I make my thumbnails in here? Now, something I noticed was a lot of Jimmy's content during this time was focused around YouTube growth and information just around YouTube. And this content was very relatable at the time. A lot of people were still trying to become YouTubers. And I mean, today, they obviously still are, including me. But at the time, it was a super relatable and interesting thing. And not many people had seen the idea of like how much money would a YouTuber make? How can you grow on YouTube in certain ways, this way or that? And it was a big boost to Mr. Beast's channel. By October of 2015, Jimmy was able to hit 10,000 subscribers. To that, just 10,000 subscribers. I mean, I think I have over 450 videos on this channel. I, um, I put a lot of time into this channel and I'm glad people are enjoying my content. I'm glad people are liking my videos. And this is also the time when they decided that video games were no longer for his channel and he wanted to move more in the direction of IRL content. Also later that year is when he would officially change his name from Mr. Beast 6000 to Mr. Beast for the final time. He had been doing it a lot before, but this is officially when he finally changed to Mr. Beast for the last time. His channel would begin to evolve into a completely new style of videos after this, and those videos would actually get a lot of views, such as best intros on YouTube, worst thumbnails on YouTube, and probably his most famous series to help him blow up, which was worst intros on YouTube. This series was a series where he would just shit on people, he would react to their intros, find the worst ones on YouTube, and just make fun of it. And it was really funny to watch, but later on, Beast would private all these videos because it really doesn't fit his persona anymore. Due to his new style being so random and so crazy that people never had seen it before, he was able to hit 50,000 subscribers in June of 2016, and a month later in July, he would hit 100,000. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, yes, yes, yes! On January 8th of 2017, Jimmy would post counting to 100,000 in one video. This was a 24 hour long video and caused a massive growth for him. His videos were just so crazy that you had to watch. With random ideas like reading the whole B-movie script or all of the counting videos or saying YouTubers names, his videos were just so outside of the box that you would have to click on it to see if it was really real because if you see a video reading the entire B-movie script, you're like, no way some dude actually does that. You click on it to find out, and there's Jimmy's engagement right there, and he just kept growing from that. Now, the major thing I've noticed about Jimmy was his motivation for YouTube to this entire thing. He started at the age of 13 and did not quit until he got to where he wanted to, and he's still not quitting today, as we can see. But the motivation and grind to continuously post COD commentaries after commentaries, to post those back to back to back to back to back to back for years was a lot of work. And I just really want to applaud Jimmy for the effort he has to put in to get that. On June 15th of 2017, Beast would post his first video where he included giving a lot of money away. And this was the video, giving a homeless man $10,000. It did well and he would follow with many, many more as we all know and love today. Jimmy capitalized on the idea of making every single video the best it could possibly be. He would put maximum effort into every single thing he did just to make sure it was the best and highest quality he could have. Mr. Beast would say in an interview that his idea is you shouldn't push out just many videos like he was doing originally with the COD commentaries. The best idea is to make one good video that will get a lot of views from a lot of different people and just upload those as much as you can instead of cramming in really short, not the best quality videos. Due to this, you could see Jimmy drawing in attention from such wild ideas, such as buying the most expensive app on the app store or delivering a hundred pizzas to random houses or buying a car with only pennies. Jimmy pushes the limit of everything that he does. If he sees an idea and wants to make it his own, he will make it 10 times bigger and then 10 
times that to get what he wants. Due to this, on February 22nd of 2018, Beast was able to hit 3 million subscribers. This milestone is when Beast would post his first video giving my fans whatever amount of million subscribers I'm hitting a random object to them. And in this case, he gave his 3 million subscriber 3 million pennies. This would become very common on his channel after with him doing it for a lot more milestones. And in August of 2018 is when Jimmy would post his first 24 hour challenge, which was staying underwater for 24 hours straight. And as we can see, he took on this style of video and just never looked back and made so, so, so many different types of videos on this thing. But hey, they're all enjoyable and I've watched many of them myself. Now, a quick point I want to talk about before we continue is one thing I really think helped Jimmy grow so much was having his friends like Chris and Chandler and Carl in the videos. People love to see Chris Chandler and Carl and they, some people I imagine just watch the videos for them just because they love their personalities. And that really, in my opinion, helped Jimmy's growth because people were coming back for five different people or four different people, whoever he was featuring. It wasn't just specifically him, which I think helped more people wanna come back. In late May of 2018, Jimmy would hit 5 million subscribers, and this is when he would post putting 100 million Orbeez in his friend's backyard, and this video went absolutely viral. Today, it has over 150 million views and is the fifth most viewed video on his channel still. And after this is when Beast would go back to his inspiration PewDiePie, because this is when T-Series vs PewDiePie was a major thing and Beast really wanted Pewds to win. Beast would say his name a hundred thousand times in a live stream PewDiePie, 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 and PewDiePie, also PewDiePie. advertise PewDiePie at the Super Bowl. These both got Beast a lot of views and it really helped him grow too. In 2019 alone, Beast was able to gain 15 million subscribers and on October 4th of 2020, he posted a video hi me in five years which he actually recorded five years previously and scheduled to upload on five years later and it's really cool to see that he was predicting where he was going to be and had the passion like i said earlier and the motive to get to where he wanted to get but so let's see can dude if i don't have a million subscribers when you see this video my entire life has been a failure i hope though 2021 would be the year for Mr. Beast, as this was the year he was the fastest growing YouTube channel, growing by 38 million subscribers in just a year. This was largely in part to his video uploaded on November 24th, $456,000 Squid Game IRL. And I'm pretty sure almost every single person who has YouTube has seen this video and it did so unbelievably well for him. This video alone gained him over 8 million subscribers in a day. Today, Mr. Beast has over 94 million subscribers and is really closing in on 100 million. It's crazy to see the passion Jimmy had from such a young age to get to where he is today, and he was so motivated throughout the whole thing. Jimmy believed he was going to be a big YouTuber from when he started, and that's really what pushed him to get to where he is today. He knew what he wanted, and he got it, and that is just so amazing to see. Jimmy shows us that if you really love what you do and have the passion to succeed, you can achieve anything that you want. He has uploaded over 800 videos, including the privated ones, and has gone through so much to get to where he is. Let's see Mr. Beast at 100 mil. Yo, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it so much. You don't understand. Let me know if you have any other ideas you think that I should do. I'm really up for anything. YouTubers, artists, whatever is on your mind. My Skyrim video should be going up in a couple days. Uh, not too sure exactly what day, but I'm gonna be trying to do two uploads a week So one Skyrim and one rise to fame and then a couple of the sh YouTube shorts during the week But yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so so much for watching Make sure to go follow me on Twitter at OX Productions with two S's and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace